We have to figure out how to get every American a place at the table in this democracy, but how to separate Americanness, America, from whiteness. Until we can confront mm -hmm. that and talk about that, this is really going to continue. I was on Long Island this weekend uh, visiting a really dear friend, and I was really disturbed. I saw, you know, dozens and dozens of pickup trucks with, uh, you know, uh, explicatives against Joe Biden uh, on the back of them, yep. uh, Trump yep. flags, and some cases just dozens of American flags, which, you know, uh, is also just disturbing because essentially the message was clear. It was, this is my country. I'm sorry, but who doesn't have a seat at the table? You write for the New York Times, and you're coming to us live on cable. Our vice president, she looks a lot like you do. And just a few short years ago, our president did too. I thought it wasn't about the flag. That's what you said when that quarterback was kneeling. It wasn't about the military either, you said, but now you just look silly. You're offended by the American flag on Memorial Day? Those men died for the freedom you have to say what you say. It bothers you that old Joe's called names? Well, cry me a river. I mean, where were you when your side was calling Trump the next Hitler? Being American ain't about the color of your skin, and it's about a lot more than our original sin. It's the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, classic liberal ideals that have a special kind of lastingness. A lot of people from every shade died for what our flag stands for, and if you're willing to work hard and sacrifice, you too can have more. Let me ask you something, Miss Mara Gay. How did you get to where you are today? Was success something that just came on its own one day, or do you and I both benefit from those who paved the way? Those who died on a battlefield and a cotton field. Those whose backs provide the foundation for the lives we build. Those who came before us of any color or creed, who helped make this country the land of opportunity. Be grateful and wave the flag with pride, because it has nothing to do with being white. It represents the lives that have been sacrificed for me and you. I'll get off my soapbox now, because that's the simple truth. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, click on the link in the description and give what you can.